Today, we look at some of the most amazing underwater tunnels in the world. These marvels of human ingenuity defy nature's depths, connecting distant shores with remarkable subaquatic passages. Spanning vast stretches of ocean floor, these tunnels stand as testaments to human determination and innovation. But before we dive into that, make sure that you've subscribed to our channel. We got something exciting cooking up for you every other day. The Flekeroy Tunnel, situated in the municipality of Kristiansand in Agda County, Norway, is a significant subsea road tunnel that connects the mainland with the island of Flekeroya, stretching over 2,321 meters in length and reaching depths of 101 meters below sea level. It holds the distinction of being the southernmost subsea tunnel in the country. Construction of the Flekeroy Tunnel commenced on August 1, 1988, marking the beginning of a transformative project for the region. Just seven months later, on March 6, 1989, the breakthrough in tunnel construction was achieved, symbolizing a major milestone in the project's development. Finally, on August 15, 1989, the tunnel was officially opened to the public, offering a seamless alternative to the previous ferry connection between Movic and Linda Bokilin. To ensure safety for motorists traversing through the tunnel, a strict speed limit of 70 km per hour is enforced, with automatic speed control cameras installed in both directions. In response to early concerns about speeding, law enforcement agencies implemented heightened speed control measures, including increased patrols and speed traps within the tunnel. The Sydney Harbour Tunnel serves as a twin-tube road tunnel connecting North Sydney with the Domain Tunnel entrance. Opened in August 1992, its primary purpose is to ease traffic congestion on the Sydney Harbour Bridge, offering commuters an alternative route across the harbour. The construction of the tunnel involved three main sections, twin land tunnels measuring 900 metres on the north shore and 400 metres on the south shore, as well as a 960 metre immersed tube structure. The IMT, consisting of eight precast concrete units, was constructed over 100 kilometres away in Port Kembla before being towed to Sydney Harbour. Once in place, the IMTs were meticulously lowered into a dredge trench, fortified with a protective rock armour against potential marine hazards. Transfield and Kumagai Gumi formed a joint venture company to construct the tunnel under contract, with a subsequent 30-year operating agreement until 2022. The project incurred a total cost of $554 million, with a significant portion funded by an interest-free loan from the NSW government. As the 30-year operating contract neared its conclusion, a new agreement was signed with Ventia in April 2022 for asset management, operations and maintenance of the tunnel. The Channel Tunnel, also known as the Channel, is an undersea railway tunnel that opened in 1994. It connects Folkestone in Kent, England, with Coquelles in Pas de Calais, France, beneath the English Channel at the Strait of Dover. Stretching over 50.46 kilometres, it's the only fixed link between Great Britain and the European mainland. At its deepest point, it lies 75 metres below the seabed and 115 metres below sea level. With 37.9 kilometres underwater, it boasts the longest underwater section of any tunnel globally and ranks as the third longest railway tunnel overall. Plans for a cross-channel tunnel date back to 1802, but it wasn't until 1988 that construction began, overseen by Eurotunnel. Despite initial estimates of £5.5 billion, the project ultimately cost £9 billion due to various factors, including enhanced safety measures. The two main rail tunnels met with remarkable precision, with only a slight offset of 36.2 centimetres when they connected. 
a Paddington Bear soft toy was chosen as the first item to pass through to the French side, symbolising the unity achieved through this monumental project. Construction of the tunnel involved a workforce of around 15,000 individuals at its peak, with daily expenditures exceeding £3 million. Tragically, 10 workers lost their lives during the construction process, underscoring the inherent risks of such large-scale projects. Despite challenges and setbacks, the Channel Tunnel was completed on time, officially opening in 1994. The Saikan Tunnel spans a distance of 53.85 kilometres, making it the world's longest undersea tunnel in terms of overall length. Situated beneath the Chuguru Strait, it connects Aomori Prefecture on Honshu to the island of Hokkaido in Japan. With a significant portion extending 23.3 kilometres beneath the seabed, the tunnel operates at depths of approximately 100 metres below the seabed and 240 metres below sea level. Constructed using a combination of conventional methods, including the tunnel boring machine method and the new Austrian tunnel method, the Seikan Tunnel was an ambitious endeavour. The initial cost estimates for the tunnel construction totaled 538.4 billion yen, but the actual expenditure amounted to 745.5 billion yen. Despite the challenges, including geological complexities and safety concerns, the tunnel was successfully completed. The geological composition of the tunnel presented unique challenges, with volcanic rock, pyroclastic rock and sedimentary rock formations encountered during excavation. The undersea portion of the tunnel traverses a syncline structure, with differing geological features along the Honshu and Hokkaido sides. These complexities necessitated careful planning and execution during the construction process. Surveying for the tunnel commenced in 1946, with construction beginning in 1971. By August 1982, the excavation of the tunnel was nearing completion, with the first contact between the two sides occurring in 1983. The construction methodology involved the simultaneous excavation of dry land portions and undersea sections. For the undersea portion, three bores were excavated – a pilot tunnel, a service tunnel and the main tunnel. Traditional blasting techniques and mechanical picking were employed for excavation, with tunnel boring machines abandoned due to the rock's variable nature. Today, the Seikan Tunnel serves as a vital transportation link, facilitating freight and passenger traffic between Honshu and Hokkaido. Despite initial scepticism and challenges, the tunnel has proven its importance in ensuring stable and safe transportation, particularly for the agricultural industry in Hokkaido. Did you know about these amazing underwater tunnels before watching this video? Share your insights and experiences in the comments below. That's all for today. See ya!